My name is Stephen Heck. I am a PhD candidate in marine sciences in the Peterson Marine Community Ecology Lab at Stony Brook University. For the past decade, I have been working on ecological research in eelgrass meadows and restoration efforts. Eelgrass is a species of seagrass found here along the coast of Long Island, New York. Seagrasses are a group of underwater flowering plants, and the structure that eelgrass forms supports a huge diversity and abundance of life that cascades throughout the rest of the ecosystem in which it exists. As a plant, it produces oxygen, and since it photosynthesizes, it draws down the acidity levels and allows for bay scallops, oysters, and clams to form shells more easily. Eelgrass also stabilizes sediment, which helps make the water clearer and prevent erosion, and it's a big carbon sink. Unfortunately, over the past century, there have been severe declines in eelgrass populations driven by a range of human impacts, including excessive nutrients from septic systems and fertilizers, which fuel algal blooms and shade out the grass. While ongoing efforts are underway to reduce nutrient inputs, rising summer water temperatures have also become a significant cause of eelgrass degradation. Our approach has traditionally focused on harvesting seeds or plants from healthy eelgrass meadows in relatively cool, clear water and planting them in areas that have experienced decline. However, this strategy might need to be reevaluated. Despite intensive restoration efforts, alarming losses continue throughout these coasts. We know that some eelgrass populations are more resilient than others to higher water temperatures. Identifying and planting them in locations that are forecasted to experience warmer conditions may actually help accelerate the adaptation of eelgrass to our changing climate. This method hasn't been tested specifically for eelgrass, however, it has been effectively used in other ecosystems. If successful, it could fundamentally change the way that we tackle eelgrass restoration throughout the region. The reality is that conditions are changing faster than eelgrass can adapt. The root causes of these declines really need to be addressed. In the meantime, if we act now, we can work together to facilitate the adaptation of these plants to a rapidly changing climate and ensure that we have healthy, vibrant eelgrass meadows for generations to come.